Now, residents and business owners in Umahia, Abia State Capital City, are appealing to the government and the electricity distribution company to resolve all issues causing poor power supply. Following the new electricity law enacted by the immediate past Nigeria's president, Buhari administration, in 2023, Abia State is expected to generate and distribute its own power to serve the state. New Central's Chingwe Ugele reports. This is the sound you hear around some businesses because they are left with the choice of either closing shop or buying fuel for their generators no matter the cost. Small and big business owners who must use electricity to provide services to the masses have to deal with the poor power supply from the Enugu Electricity Distribution Company. You know, everything is costly now. At least that Nepal light used to help us to do our work. So we are begging government to help us. And most times we don't get enough profit while using petrol to run the business. So it's quite expensive using the electricity. And also, in terms of uh, price, probably if you are using Nepalite to buy somebody, you won't collect much from the person. We cannot function if there's no light. Yesterday I was in my country home. This old is about 1,000 something a liter. How can you afford all this? Like mine now, I spend a whole lot of money buying diesel. So if we can have 24 hour electricity, it's really going to help. We are paying this and this uh, really needs to help us. We'll be giving up uh, power supply. With no that it will help us. And our customer also will be very happy. The price will come down. state government says it is crossing the T's and dotting the I's to ensure the issues of unstable power supply are dealt with. Um, what we are looking at is to have clusters of um, power generated either by um, via renewable energy to take care of some part of our state. But however, the major section we are looking at is the distribution side. You know, so that is why we are also talking with um, EEDC as well as about power. There's no way businesses can strive in Abia State uh, without power supply. So one of the ways we can support is by you know, looking at areas where they have issues with transformers. The most difficult reality for these business owners is that they are compelled by the law to pay taxes to the government despite the challenges of power which hinder productivity and sales. In Omar here for New Central, Cheer.